Y'all, it's your boy, my head back again for another motherfucking banger. And today is Monday reaction. I didn't go to work today because they apparently they working on something, so they said everybody had their day off for Monday. So, yee yee, ski ski. But I gotta get back on the ground tomorrow. But, um, I would to off my lights, that's why my camera is higher than um, usual. My phone, show off my nice lights, they fade and shit. But today we are reacting to, because let's got to get into this video. Today we are reacting to Moo Moo is Two Weeks Late by Auntie Nita Companies. Because I know we haven't watched Auntie in a minute. There ain't no little damn Britney on here. It's just Auntie Moo Moo. So it's like, fuck. But there's another um, one with Roseanne and them. I'll have to react to that another Monday. But uh, yeah, let's just let's get into it. And now, there we get old. I had to do something else. Give it to me, give it to me. <laughs> my phone getting fixed right now. Um, I called you with an actual question. I'm a little cute though. I like her hair. She looking cute. I haven't had my period in almost two weeks. And I'm scared. I don't know what's going on. Well, if you use your protection, how are you two weeks late? <laughs> you know how to listen it. Yeah, <laughs> sure is. That is exactly why I never called my friend in the hospital. And I only had sex Can't somebody buy you a damn pregnancy test? The hell you need a pregnancy test for? I don't know, Ma. God damn. I did. Let me grab I I'm listening, though. What's, What's going on? What do you mean, Ma? What the hell? You know what the hell I mean. I heard Jay from the heard me getting that damn phone. What's the problem? Well, why did you even click in? Because it's my damn phone. My house. My shit. My shit. The glass. What the hell is going on? God damn. Why the hell you tell that damn girl you need a pregnancy test? Because Ooh. my period is two weeks late. And why the hell is your period late? I don't know. I was trying to figure it oh, out. Oh, you don't know? I thought your ass used protection at the damn drive. Did you damn it? Why would mistakes happen? What happened? Break the glasses. What happened? That's my damn glasses. It don't matter. Right? What happened? After you took your fucking panties off? He, how you know you used the problem? I told you that. Shit happened. You don't know what you're doing. Now you're looking fucking stupid. Because you what? What's wrong? What's the problem? 
Cause she done fucked up. What are you on the phone telling your damn friend it's a problem? I heard I heard every motherfucking thing. Ma, I just said I had my period two weeks late. Where are you going to the doctor? Either today or tomorrow. Boy, you need to take your ass today. And like I said, so your ass pregnant, you got a plan? I have a plan. I'm on board I'm on it. No. Why you don't want it? No. Why? Why you don't want it? You the lame damn guy. Pull your motherfucking cat out at the drive. I do not and support think that. Grown. Now right you don't want the damn I'm gonna get on that in a minute. You want to give up your responsibility? You scared? I'm using a condom, Ma. No, I told your ass to keep your motherfucking legs cold till you get you some money. Mm -hmm. You can't take care of no damn baby, so why in the hell are you doing shit to get a damn baby? You don't hear me talking to you? Yes, Ma, but I'm already under enough stress. Uh, you don't think I'm stressed? You don't think I'm stressed. I'm the motherfucking mama. Because if you can't do shit, then what? It falls on me, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. You talk to the damn boy? Did you tell him? No, I didn't tell him yet. Why? Because I wanted to be sure. Call that damn boy. Tell him that your little hot ass ain't bled in two damn weeks. And what's your damn plan is? I don't give a damn. Like I said, do you even know this damn boy? Is he working? Yes, he working. Where he working? What's his name? His name Charles. Where he working? <coughs> he work at Chrysler. Where do we got a house? Do we got a damn car? Do we got any damn keys? Oh my soul. How you know that? That ain't got shit to do. People have like fucking since 12, 13. Exactly. What does that mean? That age ain't How do you know, know that? Me and lie. They lie all the damn time. Laying up with your ass and got a whole damn family right next door. Shit, you can't Shit happens. You don't know. Don't be fucking naive. I told your ass that. Don't believe every motherfucking thing because somebody tell your ass. Nope. Do you hear me? Mm -mm. Everything. Enjoy. Alright. Thank you, Auntie. We will follow you. Go over there and follow and show her some love. But I want to get into this motherfucking video, though. I want to get into the whole base of it. So, we're almost two weeks late. Because apparently she fucked around and slept with a motherfucker. I, I, I think this has something to do with the um previous video or something. I haven't watched it yet. I might watch it on my own time for it to like make sense. But long story short, we would have fucked around with somebody and now. She possibly pregnant. And she's saying, but I use protection. But wait a minute. It, I don't know if she said that or not. But if she did, if you use protection, how did you get fucked and knocked up? And the only way that could have been possible if you were to use protection, 9 out of 10 nigga want to use protection. Shit. Motherfuckers say, oh, I'm, oh, I'm, I'm using protection, but motherfucker ain't broad all them shit and all that. And then next thing you know, you knocked up. Or possibly could have had a fucking disease or some shit. Can't trust people. You gotta protect yourself. Cause you can't be trusting motherfucker to say, oh, right and, uh, male, hey, it's, whether it's a man or a female, you gotta protect yourself at all costs if you gonna fuck around. Don't just be don't just be out here. Ooh, I'm gonna give you some any way, any way I want to without protection. You gotta have this fucking protection, youngins. Y'all gotta have protection at all costs, cause you can get you shit. All types of diseases and shit. You don't know who they've been fucking with, who they've been doing, doing this and that, doing this and that. They could have been fucking like 100 people or 20 different women or men. Next thing you know, you could have had a fucking disease and now your ass got one. Or, one use of protection and get you knocked up. Like, protect yourself. And if she is knocked up, what's your plan? And that's what I want to get into. She said that she would abort it. I'm not. I don't support abortion. And I'm going to tell you why I don't support abortion. Because I. I and I and I. And this is. And it's not like I was ingrained by this in my head. By my moms or any of them. This is my own mindset of why I don't believe in abortion. 
say what you want, but this is how I feel about it. I don't believe in abortion because I feel like if you if you willingly lay down with somebody and it's willing to get down and dirty with it and with no protection to protect yourself, whether from a disease or possibly getting pregnant, there's condoms, there's birth control, birth controls, and you're not using any of those and you get knocked up, I feel like. Well, shit, you knocked up now, so you might as well have a plan on what you're going to do. Do what you can to raise it. You ain't born no fucking baby. If you're going to lay down with a motherfucker, you can take care of a baby. Shit. With or without family help, there's daycares and shit. But, but just taking the easy way out and aborting it so you don't have to face the consequences or not saying that it's... A mistake because it ain't the kid's fault of how he got brought, how he was created or none of that. But um, just taking the easy way out and not accepting responsibilities for your actions is, it's, no, no, I don't believe in abortion. I feel like if you, if you get knocked up and you want to lay down with somebody and get knocked up, own that shit, raise your child. And that's how I feel about the shit. I mean... At the end of the day, that's my view on it. Now, how other motherfuckers may be towards it, whether they, uh, it's up to them. But I'm, but I'm saying, as far as me and anybody around my media circle, I don't believe in that abortion. I don't believe in abortion at all. I really don't. But, uh, hey. but then there are also other sides to it, though, because, you know, if you're not mentally well or stable to raise a child, then that's a whole different story. But if you are stable, if you're stable and you just fucking around to fuck around and uh, take your responsibilities and raise your motherfucking kid and bring them in this world with love and support and all, everything else and take care of them for the next 18 motherfucking years of this childhood life and do what you do. Yeah, that's how I feel about it, but this was an interesting video. It was, it was an interesting video, and I'm sure they, and I'm sure she's been late before, two weeks late, like one of her videos, but it's like, it, but it was just a pregnancy scare or some shit like that, but it's like, moo, if this, and if this is a pregnancy scare, uh, hopefully this is a wake up call, because she had fucked around with this pregnancy, pregnancy scare for two times now. So, get your shit together, Moo Moo. And if you're gonna fuck, fuck with protection. And on that note, that's it. That's all. But, uh, interesting video. 10 out of 10. What I need y'all to do is I need y'all to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that bell. For the notification for all the motherfucking bangers. And I will see you in the next video. Deuces, nigga. I love my motherfucking lights. See all that shit? Blue, it just... Ah! It just makes the room... It just gives my... It gives my room laugh. It gives a little laugh. But, deuces, y'all.